Hey friends! So we're finally getting to the computer build. Because I finally have all the parts. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. But let me start with like why I started I decided to get a new build besides my computer being extremely old. The first time that I realized that my computer is extremely old was when I couldn't blur the background on Zoom calls or Teams calls or any sort of calls. And I was like, why is that? So I started researching and I realized that you had to have an up-to-date CPU that would be able to handle that. And mine just couldn't because it was old. So I was like, oh, let me just swap this out. And then I was like, oh, wait, the newer CPUs, like newer Intels, don't work on my motherboard. And then I was like, oh, so I need to get a new motherboard and a CPU. And then I was like, crap. Like at that point, I might as well just get a GPU. And then I started thinking about how old my computer was and how little RAM I had and just how like how many issues I've had in terms of rendering times and lagging of computers and running out of resources and a bunch of stuff like that. So that's the reason why I decided to go through this update. And as I've talked through a lot of my videos, it's just been taking a lot of time to get these components, but I'm extremely happy to start this build and I'm really excited. So let's get into it. To base it all out, I'm using the Asus ROG Strix X570F Gaming Motherboard. Moving from Intel to AMD, I needed a board that could handle the latest Ryzen chipset and VME storage, and be able to handle my productivity needs and off days for gaming. This was a good balance of performance for price. I probably could have went cheaper here, but the board has a ton of features and it's still under 300 bucks. From a CPU perspective, anything I chose would have been an upgrade from my i5-6600K. I opted for the Ryzen 3950X as I wanted to get on the AMD train. Nothing special of note here, it's just a solid processor and more cores than I have, so it should be able to yawn through my productivity needs easily. Again, I could have probably gone cheaper here, but freaking Linus Tips and his team did a great job on selling me on this one. I figured this will hold me over until the mid-cycle when the new chipsets and forms arrive in the coming year. I will say I will always be amazed by CPU packaging and why they do this. Again, it's probably for like marketing and like shelf space, but man, this is so much extra packaging and space for no reason. <laughs> it seems like so wasteful. For the RAM, I went with the G-Skill Trident Z Royal 16GB DDR4 3600 RAM. Four sticks of them. I intentionally went fancy here because I wanted a little pizzazz in the presentation, but I also wanted as much as I could fit in because I've been with 8GB of RAM since 2015. I'm just tired of all the performance hangs so much that I didn't want to deal with it again. Originally I was going to upgrade the RAM on my old board and add two identical sticks to get me to 16. However, after realizing I needed a new CPU and motherboard, I figured just go all in with it. I'm most likely going to be running my OS on SATA SSD to try to hot swap into my new system without a new OS install. However, I'm moving to NVMe for programs and media storage. NVMe memory was a new thing to me, and yes, I know I'm behind. However, when looking on ways to resolve my playback and render issues in Premiere, I learned that NVMe is almost four times faster in read-write speeds than SATA SSD3. In my current computer, I'm running two SATA SSD3 drives that have 250 gigabytes. I'm constantly deleting using external drives, and that is super annoying. So this time around, I'm going with two one terabyte NVMe sticks so I don't have to deal with storage gymnastics for every single video that I'm editing, like I am now. From a GTX 970, I was happy with a modest upgrade in the $500 range especially with all the new stuff coming out for GPUs. 
The biggest issue is that I originally ordered the ASUS RTX 2070 Super, but I had a ton of issues with back orders. Then Nvidia stopped future productions of the main 2070 and 2080 cards, including my 2070 Super in preparation for their new cards coming out. I had issues finding a decent priced GPU after this. Luckily, CPU Solutions had stock of things and I was able to get my MSI Ventus RTX 2070 Super at the $500 range I was looking for. Super appreciative to those guys at CPU Solutions for their quick response and delivery. Definitely check them out if you get a chance. Since I don't have a hardwire connection to internet in my room, I have to opt for Wi-Fi options. I went with the TP-Link's AX3000 because it has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 all in one package. And this should be better for my overall speed and response than something that would be native on a motherboard. I wanted to have something solid here since I do have to upload over Wi-Fi. Anything I can do to improve those speeds, I'll definitely try it. All these components are gonna be put into this big, spacious, transparent Lian Li 011 Dynamic XL case. That is a mouthful. <laughs> I wanted a full-size case for temperature considerations, but I also wanted something sexy. This fit the bill quite nicely, and man, is this case easy to navigate. The extra space made this super easy to maneuver, especially since I'm not doing anything crazy like custom loops or anything like that. For fans, I'm using Corsair LL120s with the Commander Pro for the lighting. I really wanted to get the Lian Li SL120s, but those were on pre-order, and let's be honest, I've delayed this build for too long as it is. These fans were just readily available, and they're relatively easy to install. The 011 Dynamic XL has a lot of standard mountings, but it does have one sophistication at the bottom where there is a fan rack, which takes a little bit of extra effort. It does house the fans quite nicely though. For CPU cooling, I wanted to try AIO, like all the cool kids. Don't get me wrong, love me my Noctua, but now it's time for experimentation. I love the idea of being able to give my case a more open look while also adding some visuals on the pump. Since aesthetics were a consideration here, I did opt to buy the AIO sleeves from Cable Mod. While they look fine, I am somewhat disappointed in the construction and quality. The clips are pretty trash, and the overall length of the sleeves are shorter than the actual cables. The clips don't even fit well or secure anything. It's all to make the frayed edges look cleaner. But even then, I can only use half of them because they aren't snug enough to fit. This is probably the biggest purchase regret in this build, but there's not many other options here. The original intention was to mount the radiator at the top of the case with the exhaust fans pushing air through the radiator. However, after watching a video and looking at some forum posts, there seems to be some temperature benefits from a side or front radiator. So I'm doing a mid-build change, hence why I'm doing a CPU cooler last, when normally I'd be doing it first right after I installed the CPU. The final step before getting into power and cables is finishing off the top with the exhaust fans. But this is where I get stuck. I, would tell, I told you I would mess up. I told you I would told you to mess up. Because uh, basically I didn't do my research and after doing some research I realized I want to put the radio on the side because I get better temperature performance overall. Um, so as a result, because I wanted to retain the RGB, I put the Corsair fans onto the radiator and replaced the NXT fans. My hope was I could use these NXT fans and just install them onto the top, and then from there, I could just run with it. I could just freaking run with it. However, these NX and ZXT fans do not fit on the top and I cannot use them. So I am SOL in terms of this freaking build. So. I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, we're just gonna show last some last minute shots of what everything looks like as of now. But when we get back onto the next video, I will go over the finishing of the fans, cable management, power management, storage, and basically the wrap up of this build. Sorry, but I told you I f up. I told you I f up. If you look at the last video, I told you I'd find a way to f this up. So I did. But I'm about to Amazon prime the crap out of these fans. Hope we get them in a couple days. Then we can continue with this and I'll get you another video. But you get two videos out of this crap. Maybe three. Who knows? I could find another way to f it up. We shall see. But anyway, yes, let's outro this crap, show you last shots, and let's go.
So yeah, I'm an idiot. And I changed design midway through, but I think it's with good merit. I watched a video from Bitwit and he convinced me that the placement of the uh, radiator should be on the side just because there's a lot more uh, thermal and volume considerations that I'll get a benefit from. So I figured that despite it detracting my build time, it's going to have an overall benefit in my final build. So thanks to him, but also no thanks to him because I'm delayed here. <laughs> but we get another video out of this and I have the fans coming in, so they should be coming on Saturday. So hopefully I get something to you guys in the beginning of the week, like Monday or Tuesday uh, with the final build. But anyways, I appreciate you guys sticking out with me. Um, been loving seeing the new subscribers trickle in as well as you guys getting me closer to that 4,000 hour watch time. It's pretty cool and I appreciate all the conversations that we've been having in the, con in the comments. But yeah, if you guys have really liked what you've been seeing thus far, please stay tuned. Uh, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all the things that you normally do on a video that you like and love. And I will see you very, very soon. Especially once these fans come through. And hopefully I don't f*** it up again. Otherwise you're going to see a third video. But uh, trying to keep it to two. <laughs> so wish me luck. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Peace.